Hi folks, at this point I have taught you guys about composition of functions and how to work from inside to outside when you are um, computing a composition on tables. And then I, we also defined how to basically, or well, we talked about how to define the outer function versus the inner function. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about the chain rule. The chain rule is a rule that allows us to take derivatives of functions that are compositions of other functions. At this point, we know how to derive power functions, trig functions, transcendental functions like natural log and e, and, um, and basically all of our inputs are just x, right? But what if an input is something different? What if the input is a function? Okay. So anyway, uh, to use the chain rule, we derive the outside function first and then multiply that result by the derivative of the inside function. So it looks like this. The derivative of, let's say, f of g of x, right? Outer, inner, x, will be the derivative of the outer, so f prime, okay? Evaluated at the inner function, but then you multiply the, in, in the derivative of the inner, okay? So more formally, you've got f of g of x, take the derivative of the outside function f, evaluated at regular old g, you don't do anything with that, but then after that you multiply by g prime. Okay, so for the table below, let's find the derivative of capital G. Well, G is this derivative, f, or is this composition, f of g of x. Well, if we're going to find g prime, at x, well, that would just be f prime of g. I, uh, f prime of g of x, yep, times g prime of x, okay? So basically what we're going to be doing is substituting in 2. So g prime at 2, we're doing f prime of g of 2 times g prime at two, at 2. Okay? So, we'll do g of 2 first. g of 2 is regular old 2. So this will be f prime at 2. And I think we can find g prime at 2. g, g prime at 2 is actually 4. And don't multiply the 2 and the 4 together. That's not multiplication here. Well, it is multiplication, but it's the multiplication of the derivative of f at 2. So we're going to have to find f prime of 2 first. f prime of 2 is actually 3. So we're going to take 3 times 4 and make 12 out of it. So in the end, g prime at 2 equals 12. I'm going to leave this one for you guys to try. For g prime at 1, let's pick a different color. I've been feeling festive with my colors lately, so we'll pick a bright green. So here's g prime, g prime of 1. Now we know that g prime of x is this derivative, so it's a f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Well, really, I should be typing in 1 right there, right? Okay, so f prime of g of 1. Well, I don't know what g of 1 is. g of 1 is 5. g prime at 1 is 3. So we just need to do f prime at 5. f prime at 5 is negative 4. So basically just negative 4 times 3, or negative 12. All right. So there you have it. That's how you will be um, computing uh, uh, derivatives uh, using a table. Okay? So uh, oftentimes you're not going to be using just a table. Oftentimes you'll have some equations to actually work with. So I'll show you how to do the derivative when the outer function is, let's say, a power function. Okay? When the outer function is the power function, we've got to use what kind of looks like the power rule first and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So here's a power rule 
kind of example. f of g of x, so it's a composition, but it's raised to an n power. So the n comes out front, and we're basically just doing the derivative, okay, uh, times g prime of x. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Find the derivative of f. Let's go back to that pumpkin orange again. We're in October when I'm recording this, so uh, here we go. So we're going to do f prime. f prime is f x is going to be 8 times this whole thing, x, 6x squared, minus 3x plus 5, and all that's going to be raised to the 7th power. But then I need to multiply by the inside function. I'm sorry, the derivative of the inside function, so 12x minus 3. Now, typically, if you had an 8 and you're writing it next to a 12x minus 3, you might, you might distribute that in, or you might just leave it on the outside. So I'm going to leave that answer there. Okay, so this one's saying to find the derivative of f. Now, it went ahead and this question rewrote this as a power for me, so I'm going to use that power rule. That's one half. All of this stuff, whatever the stuff is, raised to the negative one half times the derivative of the inside function. Well, that'd be 2x plus 6. Now, in this case, I am going to simplify a little bit. If I have a 1 half and a 2x plus 6, notice that the 2x plus 6 is raised to the first power, so we are allowed to distribute. Uh, you're not allowed to distribute if, if it wasn't raised to the first power, okay? So anyway, uh, so maybe you would write this one as x plus 3 over the square root of... Um, Okay, here we go. So over the square root of x squared plus 6x minus 5. All right, so I like the way that one looks. f prime equals that. Okay, so here's another power function. Power is raised to the third power, so dy dx is going to be 3 times tangent t squared, but now we're taking the derivative of tangent, when the derivative of tangent is secant squared t. Okay, so um, as a final answer, maybe you would write it as 3 tan squared t secant squared t. And a last power rule example, uh, dy dx equals the 4 drops out front, 4 sine to the third x, and we're going to be taking the derivative of, well, okay, I don't like the way I wrote that. So, um, but for clarity, let's go ahead and put that 3 on the outside. So, 4 sine x to the third times the derivative of the inside function, well, that makes cosine x. And then as a final answer, most people would write 4 sine Three, or 4 sine to the third x times cosine x. All right. Now sometimes the outer function is going to be the trig function. Well, if we're going to do that, we need to take the derivative of the outside function, the trig function first, and then we're going to do the derivative of the inside function. So for in this case, sine is on the outside, so I need to do cosine of whatever stuff is in the middle, all right, or uh, uh, as the inside function, and then multiply by that inside function. So most people, though, would rewrite this as 15x squared times cosine 5x cubed. Again, if you had cosine, and that's the outermost function, you'll do negative sine of whatever the inside is. and then multiply that by 4x minus 3. 
most people would look at the negative sign and the 4x minus 3 and kind of put those together and make it 3 minus 4x times uh, sorry about that I'd say 3 minus 4x times sine 2x squared minus 3x plus 7. All right. And the last two examples are still the outside function is um, a trig function. So f prime of x, in this case, is going to be secant squared of whatever's on the inside and then we take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside function in this case is just 5 pi. So 5 pi secant squared 5 pi x would be the answer. And the last question, I'm just going to write it since it says y prime, I'm going to write it as y prime x. And now I need to do the derivative of secant. I might have to go back and search for that but the derivative of secant is actually secant x tan x. So in this case, it's secant 3t squared plus 1 tangent 3t squared plus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 6t. Uh, actually, just 6t, right? So final answer, you put your 6t in the front secant 3t squared plus 1, and then your tangent 3t squared plus 1. Okay, so I hope that this video made finding the derivative of composite functions pretty fun and satisfying. Uh, what a, a lot of students will get to a point, uh, if, you, if you compose more than once, it's kind of hard to figure out when to stop. So we're going to do a lot of practice problems using the chain rule. And pretty much every problem from here on out in your calculus uh, class will probably be some kind of composition of functions. Okay, so I've done my best today to try and teach you guys the chain rule um, for composition functions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if I can help you in any way.